Hi everyone, I'm Sarah from Sarah's Hand Embroidery and in this video I will show you how to make a lovely birdhouse using very simple stitches and lovely shades of pink and blue. I will start by outlining the house using a darker shade of blue. Backstitch is my choice as it is simple and neat. Also, if I feel the need, I can whip around the stitch to make it more embossed and smoother. For now, I will just use the back stitch. I'm using three strands of the embroidery floss. To get sharp corners, make sure to pass your needle through the corner point. So I worked the back stitch all around the roof of the birdhouse. Let me speed up the video a bit. This is the second video in the hand embroidered houses series. Since this is a stitch along video, I have kept it going while speeding up now and then. You can feel free to jump to the next stitch or element using the timestamps in the description. Now let us work the back stitch using the same color on the walls of the house. Skip stitching where the leaves overlap. Try to keep the stitch as consistent as possible for a beautiful outcome. Now let us work on the leaves. Take three strands of the embroidery floss. I use a really light pink color. The thread codes are given in the description if you want to follow the exact same colors that I have. I keep these leaves in a lighter shade because there are plenty of them and I just don't want them to overpower the other elements in the pattern. So these leaves are worked using the fishbone stitch. I have provided the tutorial links to all the stitches used here in this video. So please do try to check them if you feel you have not understood what I'm doing here. I realize that this thread is a bit too light on my white fabric, but as I stitch you will be able to understand what I'm doing here. The fishbone stitch is an easy and quick way to work on leaves, especially when you want to create that natural spine running through the middle.
This is a beautiful pattern to work anywhere. Towels, pillowcases, cushions, shirts, table covers, or just to frame. You can see that I'm getting a little impatient here. I'm using the sewing method instead of the stab method. By the way, I prefer the sewing method for many stitches. Now all my light pink leaves are done. Let us move to stitching the heart shaped leaves. They are not really many, so I use a darker shade to balance the colors. I find this is a perfect pattern to work the closed fly stitch on. Start from the topmost, making the very first V shape as a guide to the rest of the fly stitches that will stack below it. Use 6 strands to get that slightly plump effect, which I feel will be nice. I love the way it is turning out, especially with that spine in the center. I'm going to speed up the video a little bit now. After working all the leaves, continue with the same thread to stitch the tiny stems using straight stitches. Work all your heart leaves the same way. Okay, let's go ahead and work the little round bulbs now. Start making the stems. I have used the same thread because I just felt a bit lazy here.
Now, I work on each bulb using the colonial knots. Um, I'm going to leave the video at a regular speed so that you can understand how to work the colonial knots. If you find this knot a bit challenging to do, then you can choose the French knots or the Susan's knots. I like the colonial knots because they stand out more. Work two of them on each bulb. Use six strands. I'm using a deep pink color. I will do this a few more times before speeding up the video. If you want to make it more textured or dimensional, try the bullion's knot. And if you want to add some shine to it, stitch a couple of beads along with it. The texture looks beautiful. Oh, I left a leaf here. So that is how the birdhouse looks like with the pink leaves and bulbs around it. Now let's work on the main thing, the door. Since our birdhouse is dark blue, I chose a light blue for the door. Use six strands of your embroidery floss to work the back stitch on the outline of the heart. Try to keep the length of the stitches as consistent as you can. This is because we will be whipping it and if your base stitch is of a regular length, the outcome will be beautiful. Okay, it is time to start whipping. Use the same color. Whip under each stitch in the same direction. Do you see how the line is changing its form to a smooth cord-like appearance? When I reach the corner, I go down through the fabric and come back up again a little towards the top to continue whipping. 
This is so that the corner looks sharp. The birdhouse is complete. I have used light spring colors for this birdhouse. You can always use the colors of the season of your choice. I hope you liked this video. Please let me know by liking and commenting. The description will have the link to my Patreon account if you want to support me in making more videos and receive this pattern. Thank you so much for watching.